Hey guys, welcome back to the Chat Hour podcast. Um, sorry for the uh, the week break. Joe thought it would be funny <laughs> to pull a little April Fool's joke. April Fool's, and, I got busy. And we absolutely did April Fool's. Guys are back. No episode. That was the joke. Uh, <laughs> um, so for the first topic, we wanted to talk about um, some game releases, both good and bad. Yeah. All so right. we'll start with, with most exciting, probably The Legend of Zelda. I say you know more about okay. this because I'm yeah. not a big Joe, fan. Joe isn't a big fan. Joe thought about I don't trying. Well, he did it. try it. I don't dislike it. I just didn't get into it. He tried it a little bit. I had to get to the fun parts. Yeah, but he, he thought it. it was too boring to start off, which, I mean, that's just that style of game. Yeah. Like RPG when do I get the fun, like, uh, just... time freezing? Well, yeah, Joe abilities. needs his, like, yeah. his TikTok, like, <laughs> flash of lights. <laughs> that's Alex. I'm not that No, I know, but also you, at least with games. To an extent, to an extent. I'm just trying to compare it to TikTok. That's fair. It needs to be flashy for you if you're not drawing in right away. Yeah, you're right. But I think there's other people who can appreciate it. It's more like it's setting the scene at the beginning. Mm, Interesting. The environment, it's not really just about, it's not an action game. I've seen gameplay of it, like, further on, and it does seem pretty fun. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess it it's probably more fun later, but I still think it's fun in the beginning. It, That's it's fair. It's kind of like, I mean, I'm, it's not at all. I'm just trying to, like, do a rough comparison, mm-hmm. like, Elden Ring, just in terms of, like, Exploring how at the stuff. beginning, you know, you don't really have, like, weapons. Oh, blah, dude, blah, I blah. sucked at that. And then you get stuff later. But it's not hard like Elden Ring, so it's not a good comparison. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to say, like, you know, at the beginning, you're, you're just kind of starting off with nothing. You're getting to know, like, the environment. Right. That's and fair. then later on, oh, you find out, like, oh, these, like, peppers you pick up, you can also cook them with meat you have, and you can make a meal that heals you more than just eating the peppers. Epic. So, like, it, you, I don't know, it's just kind of a learning thing. Um, but that's pretty, I'm excited. Is it the Tears of the Kingdom? Is it tears of the called? Kingdom, yeah. Interesting. Um, what is that been, I mean... You know more about the Zelda lore than I do. You're talking about, like, lore? Well, they haven't released any, like, story stuff. No. Like, all of the trailers have purposely, like, ignored the story stuff. What they have shown is, like, they're doing, um, like, oh, I don't even... Fuse is mm-hmm. what they're calling it. So, like, you take... Like, did you watch the, like, 10-minute no. gameplay thing? No. I okay, so, like, you take a stick. Uh-huh. And then you take a... um. And then there's like a pitchfork on the ground and you use the fuse right. and you fuse them together. So then you get a super long pitchfork. You have a long stick with the pitchfork, essentially. Crafty. So you can just like throw together weapons like oh, ro- we- big rock on the ground. That stick. reminds me of... Um, big rock on the end of a stick. What was the game called? I think it was like Left 4 Dead, something like that. Where you can the like mash survive. two weapons together and make like a combination weapon. Definitely not it's Left, not left, left for, dead. for Dead. I don't know what you're thinking. It's something. No. I... I editor i'll put that in later i'll remind him oh wait i'm the editor fuck yeah <laughs> sad face I'll i'm put sure there i mean i'm sure yeah there's a game i my can't brain think of it, my brain is exactly telling me what it is i just forget what it's called it's like left for dead yeah it's definitely not the first time know. it's been done but yeah stuff like that very minecraft like uh, also if you i feel like you've at least seen it like how they're the vehicle you haven't seen like pictures of like no. the vehicle. i i, I my um, knowledge of the game is you mentioning it well, I know, but I just, I feel like it's such a big thing. Maybe. You would have, like, seen something Maybe. on social I don't, I don't, media, but I Not guess. that I would know. But, yeah, so you can, like, also attach stuff and make vehicles. That's like, pretty with epic. stuff now. It's like a car or a... Because before, you, you know, I'm not even going to say you had to have seen it, because I yeah. guess you haven't. But in the first game, people, there were there's a boat, right? Mm-hmm. Just like a little wood raft with a sail and so the vehicles in that game people would kind of hack together like cheats where they could get the boat to float up using their powers awesome. and then they could use the the leaf which you'd like fan to push the boat and they essentially it would like fly in the air and they just like fan themselves across the map epic so i i think they saw that everyone like you know was essentially making vehicles so they were like oh let's just add them why have this bug be fixed when we can turn yeah. it into a feature? Exactly. And then the other thing they were adding was like, you can 
you can like swim through to the top of a surface. And so like there's a cave, oh, you can just oh, go through the ceiling to the top of the cave. That's fun. Which is interesting. I I don't know how like I'm I'm assuming there's gonna be some limit on water that. level. Because, like, yeah, you could really go through some, like, crazy shit and just pop out at the top. Hey, I'm sure there's going to be some exploit. Oh, there will be. But that's part of the fun. No way. Um, you were talking... Also going to be $70. Ooh. But, you know, they're one of those two companies, PlayStation and them, that actually raised the employees' wages and didn't that is, fire That anyone. is rare, yeah. So, like, you know, I'm like, it's fuck justified. you, man. Yeah. But I'm also like, We're the you know ones what? Getting I do have to respect yeah. not like firing half your staff yeah. like Microsoft or Twitter or whatever. Um, so, you were also mentioning Resident Evil 4. Yeah, that was another and, big release recently. And Pizza and Tower. The remake. I, I, and pizza I don't tower. know what that is. You haven't heard about Pizza I Tower? I've not heard about Pizza oh, Tower. Oh, so, oh, you. See, you don't know anything. I don't. I, I don't follow news. You know, no, no. But clearly, I don't get. Did any you of ever these play things. like a like? Was it? Was I the Wario games where you'd like? No. Ah, oh, see, that's what I'm saying. You don't I've know never what played talking, any Wario. But that's games. what it's based on. Pizza. There, though. there's this Wario. Like some of the older Wario games, you could like, you'd run through like a bunch of enemies. Like mm. you'd be meant to get through the level quickly, and you'd just kind of like plow through them. Like you'd be doing like a charge, like in right. football. And so that's kind of what it is. So you like chain together combos and you gain speed throughout the level. And then if you like hit a wall, you slow down like kind Interesting. of thing. But so you have to have enough speed so to like, like you know clear like the stone wall or like stuff like that. What? It's like a platformer. Yeah, two ah, D platformer on Steam. Um, but yeah, it looks actually pretty cool. Like yeah, good I'll, gameplay, I'll good cool I'll soundtrack, see. cool art style. I'm, art I'm envisioning kinda. like a two like a like a pixelated art style yeah yeah. it's like it's really like um i'd call it like like assets kind of look like they were made in uh microsoft paint but in like a cool way okay yeah i'm liking i'm liking what i'm envisioning yeah i'll give it i haven't gotten a chance to play it because i you know like as you how many bones before um it's it isn't triple a price because it's a small game that's good I'd like to say twenty dollars. That's not bad. Yeah, it's twenty dollars. That's fair. So yeah, I'm interested. But uh, yeah, so Resident Evil Four, that that was a huge thing. Everyone's been playing that recently. Yeah, and another thing that I just like, I lack knowledge on. You haven't really. I played I a like, little. You bit had a PlayStation, so you could have, but you just no. no I mean, like I played play a little bit of like what the newer one, with you guys. Vill- village village i think talking about that one the, the one, one with, with the, the big with the tall mommy. lady yeah the, lo- the, yeah, yeah. the okay, big lady village. i played a little bit of that i never got to see the but big that's lady. different because this is what like before that's eight mm-hmm. seven was the f- first first person one like eight. interesting so before that there were third person i so think didn't i person. play i played one with you that i really didn't like oh I, yes but okay that was five that was five okay i did not enjoy that five was actually not awful like in my like from a Mm -hmm. i guess a critic perspective but six was just kind of bad but um i kind of i don't necessarily completely disagree with you but i didn't i didn't hate it it was still it's more i didn't no i didn't hate it i just what did you not like i didn't like how long we had to survive against the zombies Uh uh-huh and that was a a, a obnoxious the crazy thing is is that five and six like maybe i I guess it's later but are more action games than like anything right like so maybe it was slow there but like a lot of the games like there's a lot less you know just like crazy like uh quick time events and stuff like crazy action sequences that one actually had a lot of that yeah no i just keep remembering the fucking like brute like zombies like just one shotting me every five seconds i got upset i mean it does scale i guess to having more than one player yeah um but i don't well also yeah there's that too that you're just not a piece a big like you're not you haven't fully adapted to pc gaming in terms of like being great with mouse and keyboard i guess that's fair I've had so PC that for, could be what, that like, too. two years? Because that was also even earlier. Like, that was probably, oh, like, yeah. you were really new to PC. That was a while. You're right, actually. That was, like, what, a couple months in? That was, in? like, high school era. Yeah, that was a couple months in. 
So you were Damn. probably like brand new. That's so, fair. Yeah. I'm That's still enough. not very good now, but yeah, I, I definitely was. Well, I'm not back even then. good, and I've been a PC gamer yeah. for like I don't know since like seventh grade. Probably. At least. Yeah. Definitely before. I think. Hey, that just means more practice. You're right. But uh, I unfortunately just still am bad. Like I could, like in that scenario, I'm decent. Mm. But like definitely competitive shit. Cisco. And I just not my thing. I have to explain this all the time, but like to Richard, like <laughs> I like Counter Strike, mm. but I play it casually. Like you're not gonna catch me wanting to like climb the ranks. That I reference. just could care less. That's not my thing. That was always my thing since I started playing. And Matt, I remember just having a a, a fit that that's how I played. What do you mean? That you wanted to do better? No, no, that I wanted what to just, mean? like, not Casually care about play. the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, and I was that very was unfortunate vocal about that Matt that. actually, yeah. like, cared about his rank. Yeah, and I was like, then don't invite me to your game, Lol. That's fair. And he's like, I mean, no, that's usually you just need I, to play I better. I tell like, someone before. I, I don't know how to play. Like, Sergio wants me to play Valorant. That's terrifying. Just like, first of all, I don't like that game. Yeah. But even if I did like that game, I, you know, even when I did play it, it was casually. I wasn't. Yeah. It's like just, Sergio is like the top rank in the game. Like he's actually quite upsetting. good. But I that's not me. I could care less. Man. All right. So uh also mother talk about Cyber. Cyber. They they added um I think there was actually supposed to be a new DLC. I have no idea when that's coming though. I, I, I don't remember you mentioning it. Happen, I just have no idea what it was about. Yeah, I don't actually know. Don't but um but what they did add was they added even more ray tracing stuff. Lovely. So now there is a like it ran so a full before. ray tracing mode called overdrive mode. Like so everything now is completely path traced. Like so that's, it's pretty. Hmm. But uh so crazy stuff. The the Nvidia like marketing video that they released hmm. it, it it's kind of I don't know if they're doing it on purpose. Obviously, we all know funny like ray tracing. No one can use it. Yeah. It's it's horribly optimized. It's just like a marketing thing, right? Because you get like two frames. But I don't know if Nvidia just like just wants to market it, or if they want to get people to only use like you know how they have. Do you know what DLSS is? Uh, it's like a form of. Uh... Ray no, it's upscaling. upscaling. So you know how, like in some, ga- like in Spider Man, you could turn on FSR. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A form of so upscaling. that the, the DLSS is the Nvidia one, and you can only use that on an Nvidia card. Upset. The FSR you could use on any graphics card. Interesting. That's but upset. so, the DLSS upscales the it renders the game at a lower resolution, and then it uses AI to upscale the game to a higher resolution. Mm-hmm. So it looks like it's like 4K. So basically, the the promo that they released for the Cyberpunk ray tracing overdrive thing, without the DLSS, they were getting like 20 frames on like a 4090. Nice. This was in the marketing thing. And then yeah. they're like, oh, we put on DLSS 3 and we get like 100 frames. Yeah. And so like, I, I don't know what they're going. So for. you're not. Because you can yeah. only use that on a video card. So like, but the other thing is you could probably only use, uh, have the ray tracing on on the NVIDIA card anyway. Because you know. the AMD isn't as good at ray tracing. I think. So, like, what is, what is the Who's angle always? here? Because if you wanted to use this, you already have an NVIDIA card. Yeah. But then you have to. I, I don't get it. I don't know. I have no idea. Money. No, no, I know. But I'm saying they're competing against themselves because, right? It's not like, well, it, there, there's you no, know, there's no AMD can't use math. the DLSS and that's the thing. AMD isn't even here. Like they'd probably get like zero frames on this scene. That's true. So they're just like like they just want you to use it for whatever reason. I, I don't know. And the other weird thing is the DLSS three. The reason it, it went up to a hundred frames is because it's also doing frame interpolation, which I'll just quickly summarize is just like artificially adding in frames that were uh, like not actually rendered. I, so like if you ever like had like a cheap TV, mm-hmm. I, you probably haven't, but I've had it where like you can get this cheap TV and they'll advertise like a high refresh rate mm. and they do it by just adding in like a blank frame in between the other frames. Nice. So it's just like, it's not really 
higher frames. It's just like kind of faking it. Interesting. But so the new DLSS uses that, but with AI to like actually try to like Replicate recreate the... a like frame in between the two. That's yeah. I've seen it's that. like, hey, the character should have moved here, so let's just kind of like put something in between, scratch that, yeah. together something that kind of looks like that. Yeah, no, I, I've seen that. People have been like, yeah, have you seen the Spider Man, like the weird art? Have you seen any of the? There's like, not, I don't know, it's not perfect. I don't know if what you, no, no, I think I know what you mean, but there's also, there's also a thing that I've been seeing where people try to like upscale like some like show or like animation to 60 frames. oh well, yeah there's of course that but it looks awful because you can you can see the like smears it wasn't meant to be animated yeah yeah, in yeah. 60 oh, yeah, frames yeah, yeah. Per that's what i'm saying yeah this is actually pretty good because of like the ai mm. but it's also the other thing is like there's the, everyone complains about i apparently it's not bad but the input lag yeah because like you're actually playing at like 20 frames so you'd have 20 frame input lag in theory yeah that's fun so like but uh, apparently it's not that bad i don't know how what magic they do to fix that but no you gotta yeah. use your engineering degree for something so true no, i think that'd be computer science you gotta call in our resident expert tom Mm damn true he's got to come on the episode dude he's got to be the thigh a, highs absolutely dude, I'd love well he's never him. on so there's that it's also true he's skittish or not skittish um, he's it, difficult you could to, you could, to get a you could of. shove it down his throat and get him on yeah you, you just really gotta you gotta really yeah. hustle him about Jesus. it but it, it'll happen yeah um all right the last gaming related thing we want to talk about is the last of us part one remake another remake guys I love i'm on pc Did, have you seen any of that you you i've seen what you've seen randomly on streams that we had in discord I, i've seen the last episode rant like no no yeah but i'm talking about for the new game, the new just game. Came, like no, of course not yeah so it's it was just like a classic example of like a cyberpunk release Ooh. like horrible bugs horrible performance you have to wait like <laughs> you know how some games um will have like a, a shader compile like percentage mm -hmm. before you yeah right and you got to wait on the menu right so they have that but apparently it was taking like two hours for some people <laughs> on lower end pcs so naturally people are like oh let's try out this game the two hour refund window gets eaten by <laughs> compiling shaders on the main menu <laughs> what the fuck like it's not even on, i i know it's not on purpose that's the upsetting part that is so awesome <laughs> it, it's a whole thing but it's really bad the like on like loads of crashes crazy. like loads of like stupid like people look funny stuff didn't render correctly it was awesome and um it was there was also a whole nother thing attached to it with um it was steam deck verified i believe Interesting. so people bought it saying oh i'm gonna play this on my steam deck and then steam removed the steam deck <laughs> verification presumably because of the state it's in Interesting. so people you know kind of are upset because they're like oh this is supposed to work on steam deck now it's not steam deck verified that's epic and and now uh, Naughty Dog's just like, okay, guys, we're working on the Steam Deck verification. Like, uh, you you would have thought they got in a bunch of money from the TV show. To yeah. Do, you know, something. Well, I guess. I mean, it's HBO Max, so I don't know. Like, Well, I mean. I, I'm still, sure they get a lump sum yeah. for I think, selling it. I think they but, definitely uh, got a, a good show. They definitely don't get a share of, like, the, or not a significant share. Well, yeah, the, like yeah. the streams or whatever. But yeah, the, I do think they do get a big chunk from like royal. Yeah, yeah, from show, selling it, hundred yeah. percent. But um, I, oh, actually, that's no, wrong. I think Pedro Pascal just like wasted the entire fund. He bought the entire crew, a meal of five guys for everyone. How many people were on the set? Like hundreds of people. Jesus. Yeah, he wasted the. That's entire. kind of upsetting too. Of all the places, yeah, five guys. The like most the. Most expensive and middle of the road food. Yeah. Like, is it super uh, fucking I'm gonna, pricey? I'm gonna put up a it's not even right that here, good. But yeah, that's probably a good like couple million dollars worth of Five Guys. Yeah. So I think all their like proceeds that went stupid, to that. Dude. That's what I'm thinking. 
it's so cringe actually like I, all the places know. you'd be like, like oh it's yeah good, I know whatever, but it's like five guys like it's not that for the good fries. it's like yeah like it's tasty like their fries are good they give you a bunch of fries the burgers taste pretty good it's not like something to rave about though yeah but especially uh, i'm sure they were in california fucking in and out that's infinitely better i've heard dirt cheap yeah dirt cheap like even now still mm. dirt cheap and d- really good definitely better than five. i don't i can't explain it ask him but uh, that's upsetting that, yeah i guess that's why they couldn't manage to make a good piece yeah, they used all like, their it doesn't make sense because sony did the god of war was good and that's the uncharted true. pc release both were good yep and the the porting studio that worked with them on it was the same one that did the uncharted um so like i don't i don't i don't know how they managed to just like drop off so sharply i think it would make too much sense if they were consistent so this is an ongoing thing as i'm sure you've like you're aware at this point like how many pc games just come out like dog shit nowadays yeah well they see like just, hey we can just throw this out there and make money off of it why not but why put effort into it we can just get money anyway i mean i I, feel like it's see, part but of it anyway. I don't know because they, they first of all they took extra time they delayed it saying like oh we need more time well, they delayed cyberpunk to too. make the game up to your standards or something I forget how they phrased that <laughs> they did say that about cyberpunk but like uh, I, I see what you're saying but it's not first of all it's not even that hard because like they didn't just remake the game that already happened they're just porting the remake to PC from PlayStation yeah well I think when things are considered easy, people, you kind of expect them to just fix it. And then they, 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 they like just I, don't. I mean, I get the money thing, but they did like, yeah, I guess we're, I guess, I guess what you're saying is just like, just half ass it. And you know, you still yeah. release something and people still bought it. So there's that. There's the revenue. Right. So I think at that's that point, that, yeah, that's what they really yeah. care about. I mean, I guess you're not wrong because it was like a top seller or something still. Yeah. So I also, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess you're right because they're like, Oh, we've already sold all the copies on the, the PlayStation. Let's sell. Copies and so they're like, PC. let's, yeah, let's make more. You don't yep. have to do anything. Just Green switch PC. it to, just press. The and you're PC right, button. and they really did do nothing. I guess. Yeah. So yeah, all they did was point, press the PC button. Yep. That's it. And that went very well. Yeah. <laughs> That's epic. All right. So for the next set of topics, um, we wanted to talk about movies. Got some exciting ones coming out recently. The most recent, well, out today. It just came out. Already came out. Just came Mario out. Mario movie. As of recording. Yep. Chris Pratt. Wednesday, April fifth, Mario movie is out. Dude, we gotta go. I'm see seeing it. it tomorrow. Are you seeing it tomorrow? What time? I am. Three. Three. Ah, oh, wait. I can come visit. Are there any seats the, open? Probably there weren't very. So I'm going with mommy and daddy though. Hey, but you hey, can still. I'll I'll tag trip. along. Yeah, absolutely. Love to see. You it. should check. Um, there's pro- it. The reason we did three is because they do the thirty percent off. You're right to steal so it was literally ten dollars a ticket That's so actually bad. like yeah. very reasonable interesting yeah um, so um seeing that yeah, tomorrow Chris, but christopher pratt he's in looks it. pretty good it does actually Jack look it surprisingly looks good for a video game movie i'm feeling like this might be another sonic uh, illumination doesn't really mess i feel it like doesn't. Too. it doesn't dude like sing is the worst of it but it's also sing wasn't awful like yeah I, you could be like the elephant <laughs> But like I, I, I saw both of the same movies. Neither was like pitiful. Like they were both like pretty decent movies. Uh, editor put in that video of someone like yeah. yelling obscenities at at the elephant. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! On TikTok. Happy, yeah. The happy birthday, elephant. Jesus. Yeah. The worst. Yeah. Um, but um, no, no, it does look actually good. Uh, the promos yeah. and everything. I, I was very skeptical when seeing the cast when they were first announced, but 
you know, well, that's they, they Hollywood for you. They're like, they made it they're work. like, let's do casting before we actually like do anything else. Yeah, and they put. Well, like, let's get the star-studded cast, and yeah. then oh, this is for the Mario movie. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Roll let's just put that. Chris Pratt in Mario. <laughs> he's he's a big name, right? He just did uh, what was that uh, Marvel Guardians of the movie, Galaxy yeah. Volume Three? Oh my Dude. God. Which I, <laughs> also I he said he wants to do a, a Volume Four. That's scary. Um, Imagine, I don't. I know, thought dude. two was fine, maybe three. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. it was actually not very bad. I, I enjoyed good. it. Three yeah. looks okay. I don't know, as good as. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna be going to see it though. I might see it, maybe not. I don't know. With the family, we all saw two and yeah. all like relatively enjoyed. Yeah, it, I enjoyed two. One was really good. But three, I, really I don't know, one. man. Yeah. Uh, we, I, I think they're gonna three. be pushing it at this point. Yeah, Among Us. And a four out of the quite like that would be good. Yeah, there's no way you could do there. Um, <laughs> I just remember when they were announcing the the casting, everyone had like this normal like profile like picture on from just like Google, and then Chris Pratt has this like mortuary picture. He's just black and white. It looks like he died. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what and, I'm like a zoom or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't look think up, I've seen look this. up Chris Pratt um uh Mario reveal. <laughs> it just looks like he's like it has like a. Oh, oh, like just the image picture. of him that they show. Yeah, I, I've seen it. Like yeah, it is like it's, Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I know what you're talking about when they're like, Chris Pratt as Mario. He has died. It's just the image of him. He's yes. passed. Um, That's just I how he is, man. I think it's fun. Just looks like I, 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 like, actually fell out of my seat when I saw Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Ah, Jesus, man. It threw me off. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> like that's oh yeah god. yeah oh my god <laughs> surprisingly i've seen him in the trailers He's, it's not bad it doesn't it's not awful but i hear seth rogan i know it's him yeah i don't think donkey kong <laughs> i don't know i you know the upsetting thing is now when i hear seth rogan i only think of the last thing i saw him in that's you true. know what that was don't say it don't say it. I'll just put a picture up. I'll just put a picture up. From the boys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking you know, of something you know. else, but that's you know, what you I was made th- it worse. That's the last thing I you saw. Made it worse. Was... Yeah. You exactly. made it worse. I was thinking mm, okay. Moving on. Were you thinking sausage party? I was. Uh well see they're re- pretty related, aren't they? Yeah. Upsetting. They're me both enough. sexual uh, yeah, you're like, right. scenes, I guess. Thank you. Yep upsetting very <laughs> um, well that it's not a coincidence he's that type of person who likes taking those roles so. well yeah you're right it's not like he was forced to um well yeah i think the mario movie might be like it's another sonic situation where they actually do a pretty good job with the with the movie for a video game i'm thinking so i mean yeah, like it's also like there's so much less lore yeah. So like you don't it's have to do more anything. easy to adapt. Right. Like there were the Sonic fans that they they wanted to like have like a bunch of like lore be explored in the movies. But like Mario is such a well like household like your mom and yeah. dad play it. And the, there's not much that, you have to explain. Like like unless you really go against the source, which again yeah. is very like kind of loose. Hmm. You'd um, have to really try to mess it up. Is kind of what I'm getting at. I'm putting up a picture of the live action Mario movie. Yes, that's a good point. Yeah. That is a fair point. The literal perfect example of what you just said. The Goomba, can we have an image yeah, of the Goomba? There he is. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's really insane. That was just an awesome creation. I yeah, I don't know. Um Um also wanted to touch on in in other movie news, the new Spider Man. Um, true, true. It looks very good. What is it called again? What is like um, the subtext? Spider Man across what? the Spider Verse, something like that. Yeah, yeah, I, okay. I, think, so. I think that's right. Um, um, oh my God, cool. guys! They they reference <laughs> You're n- like at each other, guy. Nine, no, like one nine nine, oh like the, yeah. the universe yeah, with uh, yeah, the MCU. The, yeah, oh thank God. you. Doctor Strange. Or... Guys, yeah, guys, it's, it's the thing. Uh, yeah, that was all over yeah, social media. I, mean, I hated I was that. Just, like losing their shit. That's upsetting. Like, this is why they just put out crap now because because yeah, they live. Like no one cares. They just go. Ma, 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 ma. Oh, you do look at a this steaming shit. pile of crap, and they, they just absolutely devour it. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, Even though this looks pretty good, it's just it, 
it, it didn't have yeah. to be and it'd still be like whining about how awesome it is yeah. on twitter i i did like the trailer though i think animation looks very very crisp like it didn't last one very nice it damn well should they have had plenty of time to work oh, on they it they have you know it was supposed to come out like months ago yeah yeah and they delayed oh well so hey it should be very good it, if it makes it better it makes it better exactly i mean it, they, we're, as fans we're fine with it because it's meaning that they yeah. put a lot more time and care it won't be obviously surprise surprise sure we'll that works that. yeah um batman reference you, you just work on something for a while you actually put effort into it, it that's actually yeah, that's good. a good point for that that seems to be like getting forgotten well in modern day that doesn't make as much money quicker. It, that is true because there's less turnaround, yeah. so that you gotta wait a while to get exactly. the, the profits. Exactly. So. Um, but yeah, no, it looks crisp. Uh, I don't know what the hell he did to piss off every single Spider-Man because they're all I, trying to like murder him. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm a little, I'm not completely bought into it because at this point with the whole multiverses thing, yeah. like I'm. Hoping they don't just stamp on it and really fucking kill it, yeah, like no, beat I it know. to death. But. but I think they're doing it pretty well in this like movie because they did it in the first one, and I think they did it pretty well. They just did like the whole little team up thing, and mm -hmm. I think they're sort of more just exploring, like, that without doing like the the shitty like oh guys look it's a crossover. Yeah. Oh my God! It's the other Spider Man. Yeah. Like, like I think, like without a doubt, they they're gonna show up the the live action mm -hmm. ones at some point just for sheer fan service but i, I think other yeah. than that i think they won't try to like push it too far into that direction we I'm will hoping. see well it's also it's two is this the two-part thing yeah so this is the first part this is gonna be a two-part movie. there's this another one crazy, i think man. called uh i think they that call is it beyond the right spider there. verse something like that i have no idea what like, that's i about, hope it's but... good but like jesus yeah talking about them just wanting money you just split it into yeah. two movies you make double the profit that's completely true I don't, why don't they just, you know what, I'm not necessarily a fan of that. Make a really but Instead of just movie. putting out a rushed movie, why not even just do that? I mean, yeah. Because, like, that, that solves their, oh, we want more money, and maybe it actually, like, gives them enough time to make it good. That's true, honestly. A, an interesting at least, prospect. I feel like at least that's what they've done with, like, the Avengers, because the Avengers come in part. That, yeah, no, that is and true. The Avengers they have done it decently there. pretty good movies overall. The other thing I guess though is like maybe people are just I don't know too long because like movies are already like three hours, like yeah. um, Avatar: Way of Water Endgame, was three hours. Dude, Endgame was like what three hours twenty minutes or something like that. I think so. It was rough. I had to piss during. I it. did. Uh, I went to with Tim to see that. Yeah, I had to piss during it. Hmm. <laughs> you don't want to miss it though. I I missed the part where they were like yeah. Um, I don't know. They were like you hate having making a plan or something. Um. In other superhero news, there's the Blue Beetle trailer. I think it looks fine. Who is? I don't actually don't know. I don't know who he is that. either, but he looks cool. Um, I think. Is this a new character or just like maybe? someone from the comics? I no think one it's knows. Just some, it, I think it's like a, a more niche comic character. I don't know. him. Yeah, it is in the comics. It I is. Googled okay. it. Yeah. From 1939. A lot of shit's old, so I actually think that's like yeah I, I don't well i mean as most of it we but, don't watch um, the comics yeah or read the comics okay man um but yeah no it looks cool i like the i think the the suit looks pretty good relatively i, I think the like his little laser blue effects don't look as well but you know hopefully that changes in the movie is, is this part of like the uh the new DCU that um, I think so. It's supposed to be like the new going universe. For now. Yeah, I don't, oh, yeah. dude. I I could not tell you. I think I the know, Flash is supposed to make a new universe or something like that. And this takes part of it in it or something. I'm know. I'm kind of scared. Not just about this. Like, yeah. I mean, I all I can picture is just James Gunn doing like this. You know, just doing the MCU thing where like we're at now, where yeah. we're just pu pushing out loads of movies like, that like are forgettable people are saying that the flash movie is good hopefully it is um i don't know but there's that and i think from the trailer at least it looks better than what they've been throwing out so far at least mm -hmm. also george lopez is in it i, I, that I, I did that was funny. Yes. 
Mr. Electric. Good to see him. Yeah. He's kind of washed up. He does like, there's like some like sitcom or something. Yeah. Like not his original <laughs> TV series. <laughs> George Lopez. There's like some new, like, I, I don't mean, like, he has like oh. a family. It's like a family, like the that Lopez family familiar. show or something. It sounds vaguely familiar. I just don't know what you're talking but, about. But uh, it looks pretty cringe. It's like some, you know, NBC, like boring late night television. Yeah, I don't watch this. Unfortunately, but uh, very upset. But I just remember I when I had Instagram, I followed him and he'd like post clips from it. It was interesting, just, you oh. know, like ah, laugh track, like hilarious. <laughs> That's sad. Young, essentially, young Sheldon oh, level of production. That yeah. is scary. Um, um, well, another superhero news or superhero movie news, uh, the Barbie movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought you were gonna do that before. I was actually gonna so say non superhero yeah. news, <laughs> but uh, that. Oh my! God. It is. It's an interesting. I trailer. do not know what to say. I, everyone uh, that was just kind of like horrifying. If Ryan watch, Gosling wasn't a part of the cast, it would have just gotten like a a mediocre. Like some people like would have seen it and be like, "Oh, it was just like a family movie or something." But as soon as Ryan Gosling was, I to guess. But it, also Margot Robbie is Margot pretty Robbie, big. Name yeah, now. she's popular. But but like to me, not so much because I, I don't I don't watch right. that many movies. So I guess only The Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> Is the only movie, Mr. Right or actually no, she was in the Suicide Squad thing. She was. So there's that. Um, but um, uh, yeah, there's not a lot of stuff I remember. But nowadays, it's pretty big, as as Joe has told us. Yeah. You remember? I'm aware. Yeah. So um, clearly, she has more fans than. No, but I, I was more referencing um on TikTok all of those like um, all of those like people who who go like. He's literally me. I'm literally him. Ryan Gosling. Richard. Richard. Um, I mean, he has the blanket. He does, yeah. Um, but all those people essentially just like completely latched onto the Barbie movie as soon as they heard Ryan Gosling. Yeah, it's going to sell well just for that. He's my, he's my new personality. I'm going to be Ken from now on. I, I, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, 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 I enjoyed watching through the movies with Richard. Like, yeah. But it's it's based on that, and I don't care. Like. It's stupid. Yeah, I think it's funny. I mean, it's just like all the Sigma male stuff. It's really it's that. like the same it's that. type of thing. It's like Patrick the Thomas Bateman. Shelby. Yeah. Um, Patrick Bateman. Um, Patrick Bateman. Um, there's definitely some others in there. Um, uh, I can't think of any at the top of my head. For some um, ooh, oh, my God. What is that movie? Uh, the guy in Taxi Driver. Venom. Oh. What's that guy's name? The um, actor? Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. What is the movie he does where he's like the gangster and he has the brother, oh, the yeah, twin exactly brother, the, about, who's I schizophrenic? Don't I don't right? know which movie I'm talking that about. is. I know that movie, about there, he makes it into the yeah, Super he does, he does, I've he seen does. that. Um, what else was there? <laughs> and it's usually the schizophrenic Homelander, brother too. Like just like yeah, of Big course, one. Homelander. Yeah. Um, Billy Butcher, classically. <laughs> yeah. uh, who else? He's uh, he's the best, I'd say. Yeah, I like Billy Butcher. He's fun. Um. Uh, let's. I can't think of any other specific ones off the top of my head. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Those are like the big ones. Yeah. Def- oh, even though I have seen this before. Oh, <laughs> um. Oh my God. Where are we referencing Wait. here? Um. Have you ever seen the? Um, Grand Torino before? No, but with Clint Eastwood. Familiar. Clint Eastwood has made it like you know. Oh, Clint Eastwood. Old man, Clint yeah. Eastwood. Yes. Yeah, I could see. He it. has made it into there too. Oh, and how could we forget? Um, Tyler Durden. Oh, Tyler Durden. A, a cl- yeah, that we completely that glazed over that one. one. Yeah, yeah that is absolutely. a huge one. My God, that one's upsetting to me. Like that movie was just such a like all over the place. Like yeah. But people really like. There's oh, someone okay. in the server got, we're in. Yeah, you know, know, like yeah. one of Ryder's yeah, friends. Yeah, he ha- and he pays for um, Discord Nitro with an animated like setting. GIF of him. Like it's like what the fuck. Uh, so yeah, we, it's Tyler Durden, um, the Batman, which was a big one that they did. Mm-hmm. Uh, Walter White. Um, was was the guy in The Sopranos the main guy? Tony Soprano, I think. Yeah, Tony Soprano. Yeah, the Joker. Um. Yeah, a Blade Runner Drive, uh, which well, are just that, all Ryan Gosling. Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna say, <laughs> but they did yeah. idolize those. 
Um, yeah, yeah, they do like the Blade Runner one where he's like me, and it's like the girl, yeah, the hologram. Exactly. Uh, it's all Goodman. <laughs> I, I don't know why yeah, that yeah. popped up, but that it did quite that a couple true. times. Uh, let me see who else. Um, got some other people in here. Nah, I, I think that's about the definitive list for it. I'd say, but I think that 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 big fan base is where all the Barbie movie is going to get its revenue from. I, I just watched the um, trailer and just couldn't, I could not get any sort of like hint as to what the plot was for the movie. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, got well, I mean, it is a Barbie movie. Like, what could it possibly be? Yeah, really? I don't know like, anything don't... about Barbie lore. I just know that she's a But it, it's boy. like this, like, it's going to be like PG-13. So, like, I don't, I don't mm, know. Yeah. PG-13 and then they do the well <laughs> what was their ending bit um yeah I, yeah the like beat you yeah I'm gonna beat you off yeah yeah no, I'm gonna beat you off so I mean I thought it was gonna be a little higher than that but that's still pretty high for a Barbie movie yeah PG-13 and then Michael like a Sarah Barbie movie you think would be yeah like actual just eight-year-olds but it's very interesting I, I don't know. Uh, Hollywood, man. I don't know what to Will say. Ferrell, like, of all the there. things, they're like, let's, yeah, let's do what, like, we're just the row a, a live action Barbie movie. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't get the plot. We're just going to have to find out when the movie airs. Well, other movie um, that I haven't seen, uh, the new John Wick movie. You know, I haven't seen Has anything. been actually getting very good reviews. I haven't seen any of them besides the first one. I think maybe I've seen them. I couldn't like string together like what happened in the last one. Yeah, I kind of just figured. But I've seen them on TV. Like I figured they're all just like him just murking a bunch of assassins and then killing some big boss at the end. Yep. Um, But apparently, got good reviews. I mean, mean, not that that makes a bad movie. Yeah, no. I mean, uh, they they do what they can, and it works apparently. I liked the first one. That's all I watched. Thought it was interesting. Yeah, I'm not gonna go see it, but I'll definitely watch it yeah. when it's on like Netflix and like like a year. Or yeah, two I'll give it a little view. Maybe long. Um, that's actually for the Spider Man. Like, I mean, I maybe I'd see it, but that's how I watched the the Spider like Into the Spider Verse mm-hmm. or whatever. And it came to Netflix, and I watched it that I way. See. I never. Liked. I don't think I went to theaters for that one either. But I was also like. I, you made me more interested in Spider-Man. Like before That's then, I, I, I pushed, didn't follow it right. at all. So like I w- I didn't see any of the like big movies. Like if anything right. came out, like I just see it on TV. Or, I I got big no. hyped for the No Way Home, so I forced everyone to uh-huh. start watching all the Spider-Man movies before it. Which are good. It's just I wasn't like a Some are kid better than who others. was like actually into it. Like it's a popular, yeah, yeah. like kids like Spider-Man, but yeah. I just I don't know. I don't remember like you know. Big fan. I was always a big Spider-Man fan. I was never like a Marvel fan in general. Yeah, I used to be more back in the As day. As a kid. Like, oh, yeah. Well, Joey Marvel. Yeah, you're right. I mean, this is a um, good thing, but, but definitely not me. Overall, I never stopped like I never stopped liking Spider-Man. I, I think he's a it's a nice, fun character. <laughs> I mean, I just as a kid, I just like, you know, like, I don't know, j- like Minions, <laughs> Me, awesome. or like... Like mostly a Nintendo kid, like in terms. Yeah, of yeah, I remember his video games because, yeah, because I just I again I was Wii not, was like I was the only Nintendo console kid, I had, but I that was really the only like video games I'd have. So once I could get like a PS4 or something like that, then I branched off and I didn't really play much Nintendo. I mean, I again I went from PC and then I went to Xbox and then back to PC. Right. So like by the time I got an Xbox, I kind of wasn't a child anymore. I guess so. exactly. As a child, I just had PC and Wii. Yeah. I was a child when the like PS4 console. I got. It. What was it, like 2013 or something it came out? 16. 16. Really? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Interesting. Like it was 2013 was, was the release of GTA Five, which was before the next-gen update, which means you're that right. it was on the 360 yeah, and right. PS3. Yeah. So later than you think, actually. Yeah, wow. <clears throat> but yeah. Crazy. Um, but yeah, I never had. Well, I have a PS4, but yeah, didn't have it when I was like younger. Like right. I didn't get it that close to release because I have the Slim also. So that that's true. That came, came out, out a later. good deal after, which I guess was good for me. I didn't have the Jet Engine because yeah. they actually fixed that. 
Yeah, no, mine. It, mine it just still does it that. just gets too hot because they just like didn't put in as big of a fan or something. I don't know, but it, it doesn't yeah. necessarily get cooler. It just no, I think isn't loud. I think all they did was they just put like a little sound muffler around the fan for yours. I think just less of a fan because it gets super. I guess no, mine still gets, gets hot ridiculously too, right? hot yeah, I guess too. Yeah, no, I think they just put a little sound because muffler. it doesn't. Yeah, it gets fucking you blazing cook. hot. But it you just could cook on mine. Mm-hmm. I agree. Oh, for sure. When you turn it on, you have the whole entire household know that you're playing. Yeah, that that I didn't. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> but that actually, like, I feel like that could add ambiance. Like, like imagine playing GTA Five when yeah. the lady gets yeah. sucked up into the jet engine while listening to the actual jet engine yep. in real life. Yep. Like, come on. It would make playing like, oh, games I'm there, a lot dude. better. Yeah. I'm literally. I can feel the wind. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Why is the wind so hot? Why is it melting a <laughs> hole in my my roof? <laughs> Just the, yeah, that would oh, imagine. Well, I feel like that has happened. Like the probably. it melts because yeah. it's so hot. Yeah, someone's like probably just melted. I can Oops. tell you. Um, moving on I, to our next topic, we have a we have a little <laughs> bit of internet drama, a little little internet hijinks. Some some things have been going on with um. Moist critical, Charlie. And Sneeko. Sneeko. I I don't like his like little the little group he's in. The, the like, isn't he in the like Andrew the, Tate like yes, yeah, I, yes, yes. And the well what's the um Aiden Ross? Yeah, that one too. Yeah. I, I just I can't I've tried to sit there and watch the content and see what it I have not. I can't I can't enjoy myself. Well, it's just kind of fucked up. Like, I mean, I, I, I don't know. See, okay, so you know how I mentioned the Kyla thing, Yeah, right? that was upsetting. Where he's into it, apparently. Okay, so we'll, we'll not, like, flame anyone. Yeah. But, but, see, what I don't get is like, what he was trying to argue, one of the things, was that, like, oh, yeah, you only see his, like, clickbaity, like, TikToks. Where he's like, yeah, fuck no, women. But, like, I've even... but he's like, oh, when he's on a podcast, yeah. he's reasonable. But then he, like, points out, yeah, he's reasonable saying, like, men and women can love each other like oh bravo thank you like einstein like you really just i don't you you're a real like modern day philosopher and like, then every, yeah whatever brilliant yeah, like that doesn't help anyone take, that's not like he's some awesome yeah. guy i want to listen to like whatever take he, to he has that isn't just like it's just super basic, like generic yeah whatever take that isn't super generic and it's like more out there it's just it's just borderline like how can i go back to 1920s like type of marriage <laughs> yeah. like i i don't know I don't get it. Yeah, I don't like he. It's he's not that interesting. He's like, not. It, it's he's just one of these like Sigma male characters where, yeah. you know, they say outlandish it, shit, well, they get you yeah. hooked, and then exactly like Kyle's experiencing, you see him on a podcast, and then they just say like generic like you know yeah. agreeable like, circles. Yeah. Wheel is a circle. Yeah. Like, whoa. Okay, maybe he's not he's that like bad shit crazy, bro. He's on to something. Yeah, that, that's what he does, Let and that's cook. what. That's what I, yeah, it's like, yeah. I'm not going to buy into that. It's just stupid. I don't know. I can't get it. Like, he's not, he's not really giving me any, like, interesting information. Like, he doesn't have a cool take I want to listen to. No. Like, if I'm listening to a podcast, like, oh, someone from this, like, tech field, and, like, oh, he's giving his impressions on something, being more technical and knowing about it. No. That's like, Andrew Tate is just some, like, fucking moron giving his, like, batshit crazy take on something no no i'm sorry your opinion is invalid because you don't have a lamborghini yeah you know what, what color is it At, or, or yeah you don't like fight with autistic girls yeah, on yeah, twitter yeah like exactly. and lose like well, i i don't, I don't get it Do, I, that, that's an, uh, that brings up to the topic with the moist critical thing uh, they, all they they do a lot of like well if you think i'm if you think i'm wrong why don't you just fight me and, and let's prove it let's prove it in the ring. <laughs> well, yeah, that was, like, the like, meat canyon. Like, like, even if like, you... Like, exemplified that. I don't that. understand that. Like, even if you, like, beat the shit out of the other person, that doesn't make you right. You're still wrong. You, well, you it's, just it's part of, like, the, like, the Sigma male. I know. Like, the Tyler, so Tyler Durden thing. Yeah. It's just a such, fight club. It's just such a like, non argument and, and Charlie brought that up, too, when Sneeko decided to, like... He said to come. For, he was like did threatening. Did Charlie him. like perpetuate? Like I, what he, I didn't no, no, hear he anything sort of did, about. But he was like, I mean, so, I guess he just wants the views. So Sneak, which Sneeko I can't was like threatening him, him and shit, and he 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 was like fucking 
waving his gun around on, on, on his stream or whatever. No, no, but what was, like, the catalyst? It was, it was just one? that, like, um, no, he, he Sneeko made fun of his, like, girlfriend or something. So that pissed off Charlie, which oh. made sense. What did, it, what did he even say? I don't remember. Um, so he said something about his girlfriend, which he didn't take, like, pretty well. So he's like, all right, go fuck yourself, lol. And he just made mm. fun of him. And then he just called it quits at that. And then Sneeko just starts making, like, threats. Like, he's he pointing the gun and it's, like, stream. And then it, <laughs> Charlie just says, like, okay, if you want to, like, be physical, we can fight. But it, it's not going to do anything. I'm still going to be right. You are just dumb. And then he just doesn't want to fight him. <laughs> I, I don't I don't get it. Yeah. He, he just, he, Charlie says, he's like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to fight, lol, I'm going to lose, but I'm still right. Yeah, running. Charlie being here is obviously just to, like, you know, views, which yeah. I don't blame him for. Like, he's like, okay, let's perpetuate the drama a bit so we yeah. can get some extra views. And that's fair, but, like, and Sneeko is the same, but, like, they actually do crazy shit, like, in that, in the, like, Andrew take right. him. Like, his Moist isn't going to, like, actually do anything super crazy. He's not. But, like, with, like, Andrew Tate getting fucking <laughs> now he's on house arrest but he was arrested yeah and then beats a box Aiden Ross got banned off of Twitch what did he do for like something I, I don't know but it was pretty fucked like I he said some like really like it was not like he shouldn't have been banned oh well no I'm sure he, they oh, usually pro and then he went it. um he went to that uh what is it called that other streaming site that has like no rules that like all the like Nazi people stream on like I don't know, but um, I think I know what you mean. Kick. Kick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he went to there. Um, let me see. I, I know he didn't like he didn't say the reason or whatever, or they didn't give him a reason, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But like he says like he did I'm some sure really crazy shit on there, reason, so it wasn't yeah. surprising. Have you seen him do his push ups, dude? It's kinda of Aiden Ross? Yeah. He 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 did no. like, I don't know. I'll put up a video of it. Um but it, I don't know. He he was he did a challenge for something, and he was challenged to do like thirty push-ups in a row or something like that. He just kind of mm -hmm. humped the ground the entire time. I mean, that's just average Twitch streamer yeah. though. They're inside like twenty. That's their job to be inside. So of course yeah. they're not like. Uh, but he fit. he like he like made the challenge for himself. I don't know why he picked that. I, I, that's just a common that thing. Sounds... I feel like I've seen Twitch streamers do that. Maybe, yeah. Because it, it's like a punishment because they can't. They know they can't really do it. Yeah, so they're yeah. like, let's watch the streamer well, like he, struggle. Well, he was like, I'll shave my head if I can't do it. And, <laughs> I, and I'm like, why? You know, you can't. Oh yeah, that's a bit more dumb. crazy. No. Um, he made multiple racist and anti-Semitic comments. I, I don't doubt it. Kanye West reference. Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember because I know he said something like crazy. I just can't remember exactly what he said. I don't know. Yeah, I I couldn't remember. But uh, speaking of Ta Kanye West, there was news with that. Um, he's cured. He's no longer a Nazi. He watched Twenty One <laughs> Jump Street, and his entire yeah. worldview changed. Yeah, people are saying it was his marketing team. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, yeah, no, I I think he was just off his meds or something, and clearly, he had something. Well, to like say. the South Park episode. Yeah. Yay, your meds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he watched Twenty One Jump Street, and that changed his entire worldview. And he was like, was it Jonah Hill? Yeah, he's Jonah like, Hill. Oh, he was so awesome. Jewish people can be. And he's good. Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't all know, I've been seeing, the internet's you, crazy man. how i found out about that is one video <clears throat> randomly saying like me going back in time and showing hitler 21 jump street i will save millions <laughs> you're like what the fuck i was so confused and then i like a couple of videos after that I, I see kanye west watches 21 jump street i mean it's confusing that like yeah the internet we just let that shit go now i mean like i he Kanye didn't even really get like in trouble for just no, yeah, no. being like an open I think fucking we just stopped caring. Anti semi. Yeah. yeah. We just We're said, just like, Oh well that's Kanye. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and all his you know, his fans on Twitter are just like yeah. guys he he's just going through some tough times. Like 
that's yeah. not our con like okay it's not our yeah. con yeah i'm sure that's that's just because yeah. they just you know you get your like uh like tommy in the like minecraft stands on twitter and then yeah, they just like right. defend you till the grave yeah that that's upsetting um uh, for another... a clean segue into the next topic yeah <laughs> very clean segue um edp uh he he's been he's been making his rounds he's been trying to come back he has every, he hasn't every once in a disappeared while. as well just like yeah. kanye he's, he's been just like he gets periodically banned off facebook yeah. live and then he just makes another account yeah, he, he's been trying to like randomly become like relevant every once in a while yep i don't know why this it, this time this <laughs> time was his, his most interesting one and coincidentally around april fool's time I think it, I think it must have been. It wasn't on April Fool's. That was a couple of days yeah, before. Yeah, because I don't think but, he was strong. <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah. He, hmm, the cupcake incident was, um, according to him, was <laughs> a setup because his like talent agent who wanted him to be in a movie wanted him to play a character who was a pedophile and he said <laughs> that he was method acting method, act. method acting this is true this is what he said his words not mine it, again it's just like the internet nowadays like i love the freedom of the internet so i'm not opposed to it because i'm yeah. a big but this is something you you'd know, see in the shit post, proponent not of freedom something of the like internet. wow but, he said that yeah, but like this shit, I don't know. There's like a point where even I'm like, what the fuck? Like the Kanye thing, but then we're like, yeah. Then we, you know, the pedophile gets away with it. He yeah. continues to use the internet and posts. And now he's just like, guys, I didn't pretending do it. that it didn't happen. Guys, I like, didn't he's do like, it. I was guys, nothing. like, you know, it's been long enough since it happened. That was all just a joke. We can just wash it away, even though there's video evidence because it's the internet. Yeah. And it's all and you know what's even worse? He he doubled down on it too. He he was like, "Let me show you some emails I have from from the from the talent agent." He told yeah, me. I mean, all at this point, this. what does he have to lose? No, but what is nothing? He have to gain? Kanye had shit to lose. Yeah. He lost his like sponsors. Yeah, but EDP doesn't have any of that. Yeah. So like, and I don't has, even blame him. There is literally nothing every, he has to lose. It's just confirmed that this is like who he is. Like, there's nothing that's gonna change that. Again, but he's like, just like, you know, why not? And I guess, yeah, you know, I guess why not? Man. Even if it gets him one fan to somehow believe that, that's enough for him. But he, he, he doubled down on it. He showed, like, screenshots of some supposedly some emails that, that he got from a talent agent. And they, dude, it, I, it has to be just like he forgot what day April Fool's was. Because you could tell... <laughs> on the screenshot of the emails that they were photoshopped like he replaced yeah, the we text. can put one up on yeah this i'll put it on right here you can tell right there that the the, the dude a little piece of the text that was under it is still showing yeah it's just like the like snapchat it, memes that it is insane i i don't know even if somehow by like random chance that it it happened to actually be real why did he wait so long after <laughs> yeah, he didn't say that right after it happened yeah. <laughs> and then he freaks out and like runs away from them on the yeah. camera and, and he, he said that he was meeting at a right aid which only really popped up like after he started running away from them yeah i i don't know man he, he just really Absolutely wanted the cupcake, insane. I think. He did want the cupcake. He really did. A little too much. Clearly. Don't you know it's not good for you? <laughs> I I can't explain it. He didn't need a cupcake, I'll tell you what. Just look at him. Yeah, too many. <laughs> um, All right. This is a perfect segue into our next topic. Back into gaming. Video game emulators. Hey, we weren't done. He lied to you. Um, you know any everything about emulators? I've I've got nothing. I I know um, Yuzu. That's all I got. So yeah, no, just generally like 
gotten very impressive, especially on the Nintendo side. Mm-hmm. They've been playing a lot of games. Um, I mean, yeah, Jono's Yuzu, there's Ryu Jinx, which yeah. is also a Switch emulator. Um, and <clears throat> it's just impressive how, like, as games come out, like Jono's with when we played Kirby. Ah, um, I see. Like, day one, the game comes out. And day one, you are literally playing it on the computer without owning a Switch. Yeah. That's very which, impressive. It, like, Mudahar would point out, like ethics in that case maybe aren't there but yeah. like long-term ethics like now i'm playing luigi's mansion 2 or dark moon I, it mm-hmm. changes depending on the region um but that was only on 3ds i have never owned a single ds of and any you type can play it on pc and i can play it on pc but that that's where like muda hard be like you know that's pretty ethical also i've because, been seeing a lot of them have like really good upscaling like features yeah yuzu or actually no sorry. i don't know which one citra the which is the 3ds one oh. unfortunately is probably like the least performant one oh. and especially luigi's mansion yeah is not well like rated like it's uh in terms of compatibility mm-hmm. so like i i played on the native 3ds resolution and it's still a little not perfect i've seen really good examples of like some upscaling ones though like like i think like, oh Super yeah this is crazy shit like Super Mario Bros, like the original like DS game, that one did yes. pretty well. Yeah, you could like some of the good games run pretty well. Yeah, but like I don't really know, Luigi's nice. Mansion is apparently just very taxing on that. Maybe yeah. It's also OpenGL. There's no Vulcan, um, which is another performance kind of downside. Um, but yeah there, there's crazy shit like the, the wii u emulator mm-hmm. because breath of the wild was also on wii u i'm sure you've seen like uh there's like zelda 8k ray tracing like yeah, videos yeah, yeah. those are all on the cemu they look pretty good um, to be honest yeah i mean that shit is kind of crazy because yeah. yeah i've played a, i've covered quite a bit now mostly nintendo because Nintendo is one of the main people who locks their shit down more than anyone. Yeah. Like, at least PlayStation, you get some of these PC releases. Not everything, but some. Nintendo, there is never, and there never will be a Mario game on the PC natively. Will never happen. Hate to see y- it. You can argue, oh, well, there is the Mario run on the iPhone. <laughs> that was the closest we've ever gotten. Yeah. Or Mario Kart Tour. Yeah. Like, or Pikmin, they have like the Pokemon Go with Pikmin. Like I'm sure, like or someone got assassinated to put that on there. Yeah, they did not do so, that. Really well, much. and that's just like a print money thing. Like that's it's true, like a yeah. mobile, like oh, you died, respawn, get gems. Yeah. Like yeah. it's not like a, a story. Like you know, there's no game to it. Casual. Game. Yeah, yeah, it's like a you know mindless runner, like a Temple Run. Yeah, but. Yeah, but the Nintendo shit is seriously impressive. I I started with um, Dolphin, which is the Wii U one, or not Wii U, yeah, Wii I remember that. emulator, because I, I like I didn't have Galaxy one, uh, Super Mario Galaxy one. Mm. I only had two, so I played that um, with the Wii controller. And if you have a like the um... if you just get a USB mm. like you know that little bar, yeah, the motion or if you use thing. candles. Yeah. Because it's literally just two IR lights. Then you can, yeah, you can, like, point the remote, too. But the other cool thing is, like, with the Zelda, mm-hmm. there's um, you, there's people, like, you know, modding. So, like, oh, when yeah. I played the first cool. Luigi's Mansion, which was a GameCube game, mm-hmm. there is a, like, full, um, like, AI upscaled texture pack, mm-hmm. which, like, replaces all of the textures with AI upscale stuff. Right. So like, you know, that game kind of looked like dog shit, but now I like I was running it at like 4K. It's like, like a brand new game. Upscaled textures. Yeah, it looks like actually pretty fucking good. Nice. Um yeah, so stuff like that. I mean, Citra is definitely impressive, but definitely Yuzu is the most impressive, like. Yeah. Because you can just run shit the the literal same like, cuz like Citra it's taken time. Like, even Luigi's Mansion isn't, like, really playable yet. Mm-hmm. But I bet you you'll be able to uh, play the new Breath of the Wild day one, just pirate it. Yeah. Which, um, again, ethically... 
I I I, I do remember you mentioning a uh, little wrench. Oh, fork in the wrench, wrench in the fucking. Fork. I don't know how you, what the expression is, but um, the new the nouveau, uh, giving a little issues with that. Uh, oh, are you talking about like how it's a we can work around it with the no. Yeah, how like um like if there's a game that's released on Switch, it won't have the nouveau, so you can pirate the emulated game instead of the like PC game. Right. Is that what you mean? There is actually the the nouveau now exists on Switch. Good, great. But only like one game has used it. Oh, was it? You're like right. A there really was obscure game that like for, would for no reason. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't remember. It wasn't anything big. Yeah. It was something I've probably never heard of. But um, yeah, I, I know there was like some small platformer that I wanted to play, and it had the nouveau <laughs> on PC. And oh, I now I can pirate it because I just played the emulator version. Yeah. So, like, it's great for pirating, but, you know, again, Mudahar would be like, nah. But with, like, the Luigi's Mansion thing, like, mm -hmm. the 3DS eShop's gone. Um, yeah. You can get a physical card, but if you eventually, when there are no 3DSs, yeah. they don't make I will anymore, still yeah. be able to play that game, and Nintendo will never re-release -re that game. Yeah. But I'll still be able to play it because of the community that is allowing me to emulate the game. Yeah. I mean, so like, also, that's nice. this is all a hypothetical. Chowder Hour would never actually pirate games. We always support the creator. We don't condone pirates. No, we yeah. don't. Of course not. We pay for everything. Yep. Buy an actual cartridge and dump your cartridge yes. to play on the emulator. Yep. All right, for the last topic, we want to talk about kind of the culture nowadays that we have with looking at reviews not forming your own opinions and just why would you do that? looking at reviews well um why would you need to form your own opinion if you could just yeah take i mean it, it's tied into social media of course yeah. because the like the knowledge is so easily accessible so like it's right there in your face mm -hmm. so why would you need to think is kind of like yeah. the logic there but i think it's kind of i think it's i think it's kind of bad i I think I, we should probably. I see. I mean, t social media is bad, mm -hmm. but if you take that part out of it, um, and like I feel forgive right the right. social media sign, look at it straight on. I think it's still just a bad thing. Yeah, but I think, not that I agree with the whole like not forming your own opinion thing, but I think I know what like, the basis is for thinking about it. It's like, you're afraid of wasting your time on something, so you want to like not even like interact with it and not even give it that chance to not waste your time and just like move on to something you you might like but, yeah, I, but I, I think it's that. it's messed up because it you have to have you know bad in order to enjoy the good more i think exactly but yeah i mean what you're, i get what you're saying but it's just like that's just not that's how the like, logical we live i know like but i think that's the logical of course explanation you, as to why people do yeah that. I mean, yeah, it seems more convenient or whatnot. Yeah. Like, to just know something's going to be... But the thing is, your opinion differs from other people's. Exactly. So that doesn't work. And and I feel like but even yeah, if you see... But, yeah, in, like, a world like, yeah, you, you know, the reviewer you mm -hmm. always think is right, but eventually he's going to mislead you. Or, mm -hmm. you're yeah, you're not going to like what he reviewed. Like, oh, he's like, oh, I'm not going to waste my time with Death Stranding because he said it's bad. But I'll waste my time with Cyberpunk because he said it's good on release. Yeah. <laughs> and you play it and you're like, you holy it. shit, it IGN, you thing. lied. Yeah, the worst thing I, the, ever. My game, like the vehicle's in the air and everything's blowing up. Like, yeah. it's awful. I, I think it's just like, I think if you just go with what you see based on what yeah. like the people just show you gameplay wise or shit like that. Yeah, or yeah, like exactly. Trailer. Like I feel like it was more like that in the past. I feel like yeah, it's more like, of a recent I feel like, like reviews now, aren't new. Yeah. But like I don't feel like like nowadays like the cyberpunk thing is just so yeah. like out there. I, like everyone I knows. Like, it's on Twitter. Right. Oh my God, this is horrible, this is horrible, this is horrible. IGN reviews. Like I feel like back in the day when we just watched YouTube and like we didn't use there social wasn't, media. There wasn't like these big reviews. It, it was at least we were more separated, yeah. so it wasn't as like I quick. I feel like for me, I I always usually if I see like a movie trailer, like a game trailer, I usually wait like not with movies, but with like games. Like I wait until see gameplay because I know all of it's a cinematic, so I, I'm not really getting a good sense of what I'm gonna yeah. be doing in the game. 
when yeah. I see gameplay, then I'm like, okay, well, this is this looks fun. I'll give it a chance. Or this looks boring. I'm I'm I don't care. Did you finish Atomic Heart? <laughs> Why no. would you mention that? You didn't finish. Of course not. I haven't had the time, but yeah, but um, it is fun. that was a, that was an it. interesting example because that didn't get great reviews. But I happen to mostly enjoy it. I I actually enjoy it for what I've played. I, I want to play more. Yeah, I actually don't have the time, fortunately. A uh, a high on life reference. Yes, dude. I haven't finished thing. that. I actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought you did. No. I just thought it took you forever. No, I haven't finished. <laughs> Dude, I love that game. It's so fun. I just did you like my have... GIF in response? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. That was good, Justin. What? But yeah, no, dude. I unironically didn't finish that. That's insane. I I love that game though. It's good. I really I really find it fun. I did not get to finish it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I uh, I mostly enjoyed it. I I'm not a huge fan of like like constant meta references like. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think there was something recently that I remember that was very much like that. But um, I guess uh, Rick and Morty is like general, that, yeah. so there's that. But um, but yeah, I, I feel like you can beat it to death. But otherwise, I thought it was pretty good. I Yeah, other than that, I honestly enjoyed like the gameplay. I think the gameplay actually was pretty fun. Using all the mm-hmm. different guns and stuff, I think, were, were intriguing. Oh, I, I think it was Atomic Heart, maybe? The meta stuff? That I had... I think it was, but it's it's definitely not as like big of a an issue yeah. as with. No, I think I know what you mean. Life. And I'm but I think it was like too. some of the things he said, like they were trying to like point out like how games like are stupid for doing it that way, and like a lot of shit. Like, <sighs> no, I think I know what you mean. I'm thinking of a game too, but I just can't remember what it was. I don't know. Hey, well, but, if um, I figure it out, I'll put it in. But yeah, that's just like tying it back to the review thing. It's like I Atomic Heart got kind of better reviews, but I actually have a pretty like thought it was pretty good. Yeah. And and the other thing is like uh, movies I can understand somewhat because you don't considering if you if you get tickets for a decent price, like I paid ten dollars for the Mario ticket mm-hmm. ticket. Okay, like I I then at that point I wouldn't say what I'm about to say is true. Right. But I can get it when their prices are expensive. So let's say, you know, when you got to pay like the $22 for like the premiere seating at AMC or whatever. Or because you pick like a good seat because they do the tiered yeah, seating really now. Um, I can kind of understand it because you watch their review and you're like, oh, this is bad. So you don't watch like Cocaine Bear um, because, you know, you heard their reviews are bad and you don't want to waste the $20. Yeah. In the game industry, that would be even more prevalent if not all games are basically on Steam and the two-hour window. Fun policy, yeah. Like, every now and again, even in the AAA space, you know, they're going to do the, like, oh, we're going to do a super long intro of two hours, so, yeah. so you can't get that refund by the time you find out this shit sucks. Like, I think for Forspoken did that, maybe. Yeah. Um, what was but um, you, but you beyond that, most games, Atomic Heart, you could just yeah get in there and play it, and you'd be like, oh, this sh- sucks, and you return it, yeah. and you get all your money back. So like, just try it. Why do you need to listen to IGN? Like, because again, the Death Strand, or actually, I didn't mention this, the Death Stranding thing. Death Stranding, I thought was awesome. Mm. Richard will not try Death Stranding. It was free on Epic Games. He got it for free. He. Just he doesn't have a lot of time, but when he does, I try to tell him to play it, and he doesn't. Interesting. And when it came out, you know, Video Game Donkey, like, he made a bad review, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. A- and there was other bad reviews, I guess, but his was the main one because, like, there's a lot of walking. Okay. And, um, but he ended up making a, a video where he says he likes it now, but, you know, the damage is done. Right. But, we yeah, so everyone now is like, opinions, yeah. yeah. Everyone now is like, oh, it's the walking game, blah, blah, blah. They're dismissive of it. But I thought that show was really good. Like, if you if you like, like, a Zelda game where you like to do everything yourself, yeah, you probably won't like it because mm-hmm. it's more of, like, a, a movie video game. Right. But, like, Richard played Metal Gear Solid Five. Mm-hmm. Oh, same guy, Kojima. Dale Kojima made that game. Richard loved that game. That is the same fucking thing. It's not, like, it's not weird that 
Hideo Kojima made a similar type of game because it's the same person. Of course, he's going to make a similar type of game. That's his, like, style. Mm-hmm. Metal Gear Solid Five. you know, no one called that, like, oh, it's super boring, like, walking game. Like, it's a bit different, of course. Mm-hmm. Long cinematics, stealth a game. That, that's the same thing. That's what Death Stranding is. Lots of stealth, long cinematics. They're literally, the, like, they're the same, it, relatively. Yeah, I think the I think Richard I just and think especially Alex, um, I think suffer from that. You know, well, Alex is similar to you, not not in an offensive way. Alex doesn't play many games. That's true. But but what but were you ones, gonna? What po- like which one are you gonna? No, no, but the examine? ones that he the ones that he does, he he just like hears about it and he's like, oh, 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 oh. but like what? Tommy in it because I don't. I, I can get what you're saying, but um, I, that's just Minecraft. Like, he, what else? Yeah, no, there's that. Uh, didn't he, 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 like, I don't know, he saw Yu-Gi-Oh! on TikTok, and now he just, like, he made that his own person. Or was that PJ, though? It might have been PJ. Because PJ is a huge Yu-Gi-Oh! fan, so he might have. Yeah, it might have been PJ. But then again, then again, it's the same thing. He heard it from someone, and now he But Daniel. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alex, like, because he doesn't play shit, so yeah, I, no, I right. don't necessarily yeah. think he's a great he case. He blew me out of the water with that one. Yeah. Yeah, Daniel's like, oh, bad review. Not playing. I gone. can't think of it. Gone forever. Death Stranding, definitely. If you mentioned Death Stranding, Daniel's like, no, I'm never playing that. That shit looks dog. Oppenheimer. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point. Yeah. Did you know? Guys, is an actual news. Did you it's, know? It's practical effects. Oh my god. That's TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Again, and what we see, it's mostly social media. But I mean, you could also it, it less of an eff- it's not as like aggressively being shoved down your throat. Mm-hmm. But you could just read an IGN review of something, yeah. and still like not play shit yourself. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't get it, man. But it makes it worse when you're like constantly looking at TikTok. Yeah, I. I just. But yeah, him with the games too. I can't think of an example other than the Death Stranding, but I know there was another example where no, he's plenty. just like, there's plenty. Yeah, he, yeah, he's super dismissive about the game because I don't know. He saw like one of his like weird schizo like YouTubers, yeah. him and PJ didn't watch, enjoy it. didn't enjoy yeah. it, and now he won't. But then when they do like Control, Daniel, <laughs> I, I know he stopped watching him, but they watched like Maxor. Mm-hmm. I, I don't watch him, but there's like a schizo youtube reviewer okay. and he made a great review about control and that is why daniel played control like he was like oh my god it looks so cool in the videos but <laughs> i had already played it and i was like yeah it's pretty good but like like in this case he didn't not play it so like you could be like oh well the reviewer did a good thing because he suggested a good game for someone to play and they enjoyed it yeah. but like it could have just as easily gone the other route like death Stranding. Like I Daniel's like, no, I'm not playing that. Control. I'm not gonna even try it, even though it was free on Epic Games. <laughs> not gonna try it because, oh, d- this guy on TikTok. He said I didn't. Like he said it. that shit's bad. Yeah. No. So just fucking, I don't know. Hey. The world you can live explain in. It. Social media rules the world. That's oh, I yeah. think that's what we're really getting at here. And that's at what we're core. leaving off on. That's our that's our quote of the day. Okay, guys. We're going to wrap up the podcast here. Any last words, Jeff? Um, I had spaghetti. Uh, mm, I had sloppy Joe. Ooh. Toodles. Toodles.